Hello community! Today I can show you the first real-world test of Databricks Rx. It is available, of course, as you can see here on the Databricks platform, or you go to AWS, you go to Google Cloud, or to Microsoft Azure, you can find it almost everywhere. You choose your Databricks Rx instruct model, your system prompt, and you can immediately see the performance of the system. So let's run our own tests. So if you're going to ask, hey, what tests are we going to do? I stick with Stanford University, the logic test, as we have done here in my other videos. As you know here, the original correct order GPT-4 Turbo succeeded, but it failed here on a reordered and was not able to provide the correct information. We will do exactly this test here with Databricks Rx. Plus, we will check out hallucination. And on the left side, you see that ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo hallucinated here a rule. And on the right side, you see that it hallucinated a fact. And we will see how Databricks Rx will perform in exactly this test. So let's start with our testing. Here we go. We just insert the text here and we say send. And as you can see, we are here at LMSYS and we are waiting. And yes, we have Databricks Rx instruct. And the result is 74%. And you know this is wrong. So let's do it again. We always do it three times. Statistical, sometimes a little bit more relevant. Second time, 24%. Yes, this is the correct answer. Let's do a regenerate again. Let's have a look now at the third time. What will it be? Yeah, calculating, calculating, and the final answer is 24%. Beautiful. Now, if we go to the reorder with that even activity four failed, let's have a look at this. And these are our hyperparameters. Let's go send. And we are waiting. Data breaks Rx instruct a fine tuned model. We are waiting here for a response. It is a rather simple example, as you can see. It is just a little bit of a sentence permutation. That's all there is. And the final result is 24%. Yes, that's the correct answer. Not bad. Let's do a regenerate again. Okay, yeah, coming up, coming up. I was thinking, yeah, probability is calculating, yeah, 70%. This is wrong. My goodness. Okay, and another one. We always have to do three, since we have an autoregressive system, 58%. This is wrong. Switch to a different temperature in top P. Temperature is now one. We go to the maximum temperature that we have. So let's have a look what we can do now here with the same text. 24%? Yes, this is the correct answer. Not bad. Let's do a regenerate and we get now, we get now two out of three. Is it possible? Let's have a look. 80%. No, this is the wrong answer. Definitely wrong. Okay, one correct, one wrong. And now number three will decide. We will get, therefore, the answer is 28%. This is wrong. Let's go temperature equals zero. Let's see what happens. Clear history. We insert our prompt new as always, and we go. And yes. And by the way, thanks a lot to LMSYS for providing here our Databricks Rx instruct model. 48%, this is wrong. Okay, this is significant, wrong. <laughs> so regenerate, let's see. Second run. Okay, yes, calculate. Normal teacher comes in. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is beautiful. And the final answer by the system is 48%. This is, it is the same identical answer, but it is wrong. And after some time, I found here the perfect temperature and the perfect top P. And here you have them at 0 0.5 and 0 0.9. We get now a probability of 24%. This is the correct answer here with our Databricks Rx instruct model. Let's see if we can reproduce this. So here we go. We will regenerate again. Yes. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Please notice that this is where GPT-4 failed. Yes. 24%. Yes. This is it. Beautiful. And now we stay with the same hyperparameter. Let's do a regenerate. So two out of three are right. And let's see if we can achieve a three out of three. Correct answers. And the final result, ladies and gentlemen, the final result is 24%. Yeah. So this is now exactly 
while I do a little bit of experiment before I give it my real task. I clear the history, I insert the prompt again. Let's do this now again with 0.5 and 0.9 hyperparameter. And if this is now 24%, we have it. We have the sweet spot. 24%! Yes! This is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, another test now for the logic. We have the rules, we have two facts, and then we have a simple query, and the query is, is Alice a particular parameter? So we insert this here. Yes, beautiful LMSYS. Thank you, Databricks Rx instruct model. It takes a little bit of time to calculate. And you see this here in real time. This is logic. This is slow. This hurts. This takes a lot of resources. Remember 320 gigabyte of VRAM. This takes some time. And here we come with the first answer. Okay. Fact rule. Therefore, fact rule. But we don't know. Rule, rule, therefore, rule. But we don't know. Therefore, we cannot determine. This is answer is false. And this is the wrong answer. This is unfortunately not correct. And I say, hey, cross-check your answer with the solution, and I provide you the solution to my little Databricks Rx system. And let's see what it's going to do now. Does it recognize where it made the mistake? Let's see. Okay. Databricks Rx instruct is still syncing. Yeah, coming up, coming up. Oh, it just shows me that. Yeah, I know that my solution is correct. So the answer is true. Yeah, this is the correct answer. This is the solution. And you know what we do now? If you are this, yeah, this kind of, I ask, what was your mistake in your first answer? And now this took 20 seconds, up to 25 seconds. I cut it here that you don't have to wait. But you see, in my first answer, I missed a step. I apologize for the oversight. Here you have it, the first tests.